and welcome back to Crafts with B. Are you ready to make something really cute with me today? We're going to make this really cute little bunny rabbit ready for Easter. Do you like him? He's got his very smart bow on. He's even got his cute little tail at the back and some very cool fluffy ears. Do you like him? Yes! What should we call him? Mr. Bunny. You'll have to let me know if you can think of a really good name for him. Now, if you would like to make this little bunny, there are a few things you are going to need. So shall we take a look? So, step one, you will need to put your sock inside the glass and just bend the top bit over. I've got to put quite a lot of mine over because it's quite a big sock, but if yours is a small sock, it might not go quite so far over. So put your sock in, bend the edges over, and you are ready to pour your rice in. So if you get your jug of rice and you pour it in all the way to the top, give it a little shake and pour some more in if you'd like to. Once you've taken the sock out, if you want to add some more in later, you always can if it's not quite enough. It's hard to see how big the rabbit's gonna be until you've actually done it. So once you're happy with how much rice is in there, take the sock off the top and you will need your first rubber band. So if you get your rubber band and you just tie it around the top of the bunny um, and that will secure all the rice inside your sock so it won't fall out and you'll end up with quite a long bit at the top I've got quite a lot left haven't I but we will sort that out a bit later okay so now we need to get our second rubber band and make a head and a body so just somewhere in the middle put your rubber band and Tie it around a couple of times just to make it so it um, look like a head and a body. Obviously the bottom bit needs to be a slightly bigger than the head, but it doesn't really matter if it's not. So there you can see you've got a head and a body now. Next thing you need to do is get your final rubber band, your number band number three, and just pinch out some of the back bit there and wrap the rubber band around there. You're going to have to do it a few times because it's um, only a small bit, isn't it? And that will make your little tail. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So now you can see we've got a tail, a body and a head. So let's move on to sorting out his ears. Decide how long you'd like the ears first. Obviously, if you cut them too long and you don't want them and you want to change it later, you can always cut them a bit shorter. If you cut them too short, you can't go back and change it. So it's better to cut it a bit longer than you want and then you can decide later to chop a little bit more off if you want. Now you can leave it like that if you want to, um, it'll still look like his ears, it'll look fine. But what I've done is with my pen I've just marked out a little arch around the top so it kind of curves around the edge at the top of his ears. And then I'm just going to cut that and it'll just make his ears look a little bit better. Um, a little bit more separated. So can you see that now? His ears are curved around a bit and that looks really good. <laughs> so the next thing you need to do is draw his face on. Or her face. Depends what kind of rabbit you've made. So you just need his eyes. I've done a little cross for his nose, but you can just do a little circle as well, however you want to do it. And if you want to put a little smile on, you can, or anything else you want to add on, you can obviously do that. He's looking good, isn't he? Your final thing to do is to add a ribbon round his neck. So decide what kind of ribbon you're gonna choose. I've got a few different colors that I found. I'm gonna go for the red. I think that will look smart. So get your ribbon and just tie it round his neck and then tie it into a bow. If you struggle with that, ask a grown-up to help you. They'll be able to tie it into a bow for you. And then just cut off anything that's left over that you don't need if it's too long. If you don't want it to be a bow, you can just tie it in another knot and it can be a bit more like a scarf or anything like that. And there you have it. Your little bunny is complete. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Well, I cannot wait to see what bunnies you've made. I think these are so cute. So if you do manage to make one, will you send me a picture of it so I can see the fantastic work that you've done? 
Yes, please. <sighs> Thank you very much for joining me for some crafts. Um, I hope you have a go and I will see you again soon for another one.